Following King Hussein's death in 1999, Queen Noor's life changed dramatically. There were speculations that she was maneuvering to alter the line of succession, aiming to prevent the throne from passing to King Hussein's brother, King Hassan bin Talal. However, shortly before his death, King Hussein appointed his son, Abdullah II, as his successor, with the condition that Queen Noor's son, Prince Hamza, would remain crown prince. Currently, Queen Noor holds less influence and power compared to Queen Rania, the wife of King Abdullah II, who successfully convinced her husband to appoint their son Hussein. As the heir to the throne, this decision displaced the king's brother from the position of crown prince. For this reason, this saying has often been repeated. There is not enough room for two queens in Jordan. So who is Queen Noor? How did her life and her son Hamza turn out after the death of her husband? How is her relationship with King Abdullah? Be sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. Some may be surprised to learn that the real name of Queen Noor of Jordan is Lisa Halaby. She is described as an American Syrian aristocrat who enjoyed a privileged life and received a high-quality education. Her father, Najib Halaby, was appointed by the late President John F. Kennedy as the head of the Federal Aviation Administration at the time and later became the president of Pan American World Airways. A Leap of Faith, her memoir, published in 2003, reveals astonishing details. In her childhood, she wasn't happy, and her father was married three times. She lived a life closer to adventure. A great tragedy shook the Arab world when the plane carrying Queen Alia, King Hussein's consort, crashed, resulting in her death. A young blonde woman in her 20s took on the investigation. She was the young engineer Lisa Halaby, the director of planning and design before she became Queen Noor Hussein. The king was enchanted by the charismatic young engineer with noble roots and sharp intelligence, and he bestowed upon her the title of Queen Noor Hussein. Many years passed, and King Hussein fell ill, doctors were unable to save him, and he passed away. She became a widow and moved to her home country, the United States of America, for a period of time before returning to Jordan. It is common for the relationship between Queen Noor and King Abdullah II, when he was a prince before his father King Hussein's death, to be described as mysterious and good. This is especially because King Abdullah the Sikund is the eldest son of King Hussein. Her relationship with his wife, Queen Rania, was also good. She stood out from the other princesses and took charge of her foundation, Jordan River. The relationship between Queen Noor and the royal family, in general, worsened when she left Jordan after the death of her husband, King Hussein bin Talal. At that time, rumors circulated, though not officially adopted or proven, that she had obtained a significant portion of her husband's inheritance and took it with her to America. Queen Noor decided to withdraw from the political scene after the Jordanian monarch removed her son, Prince Hamza from the line of succession, noting that such a measure is the constitutional right of the king to appoint his heir, regardless of any will. Since then, and since King Abdullah II ascended the Jordanian throne and his wife, Queen Rania emerged, Queen Noor's name faded away. The rift in their relationship intensified when King Abdullah II removed the crown prince title from his brother, Prince Hamza bin Hussein, in 2004 and granted it to his eldest son, Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah. Despite King Hussein's pre-death directive that the Crown Prince position should go to his son, Prince Hamza, according to Jordanian writer Gada al-Sheikh. Queen Noor did not have the same acceptance among the Jordanian public as Queen Elia Tukin, who was of Palestinian origin and was beloved. Queen Alia's death in a plane crash caused great shock and sadness in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Lissa Halaby, an American of Syrian origin, also failed to attain the same status that Queen Alia held in the hearts of many Jordanians. Queen Noor's activities abroad were mainly focused on humanitarian, 
environmental, and charitable issues. But the gap between her and the Jordanian public widened. In 2016, something happened that made Queen Noor's name resonate strongly in the streets of Jordan. News spread about a romantic relationship between her and Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim. However, the matter was quickly contained within Jordan, as Queen Noor's children still live in the country. In addition to Prince Hamza, there are Princes Hashem, Iman, and Raya, who are the youngest children of King Hussein. Veteran Jordanian writer Bassem Raifai spoke about how Lisa Halaby faced less enthusiasm from Jordanians when she became associated with the late King Hussein. According to him, Queen Elia Tukin, the Palestinian Arab origin who spoke brilliantly and had a strong presence in public affairs, especially in humanitarian issues and the needs of the poorest remote areas of the kingdom, still lingers in the minds of Jordanians. The mental comparison, as Rifai adds, between the new queen at that time, Queen Noor, who didn't master Arabic at the time, and the late beloved queen who was deeply connected with the community, made many Jordanians cautious about accepting Lisa Halaby, whose popularity gradually increased in the 1980s, benefiting from the emotional attachment to King Hussein within the Jordanian society. Yes, there were political complications for Queen Noor's departure from Jordan, as explained by Malik Athamna about Queen Noor. He adds that she is the mother of former Crown Prince Prince Hamza, after the death of her husband, and it is said that she aspired during her husband, King Hussein's reign for her son Hamza, to become the Crown Prince, as rumored in political circles. He also mentions that she decided to withdraw from the political scene after the Jordanian monarch removed her son, noting that such a measure is the constitutional right of the king to appoint his heir, regardless of any will. Despite her withdrawal from the Jordanian scene, as Athame continues, Queen Noor has recently started adopting a confrontational style in defense of her son Prince Hamza, amidst the escalating crisis between him and his brother King Abdullah the Second. Her confrontations have escalated, and she has positioned herself as a party in the conflict through her tweets or even reposting others. Considering that sharing an article that speaks harshly about the king is a direct political confrontation against the head of the Jordanian state. What she has done cannot be interpreted as naivety. Rather, she specifically chose this article to confront from her distant position. And perhaps she sees it as a step to support her son Prince Hamza. The writer Malik Athamit agrees with the idea of the strong presence that Queen Elia had in the hearts of the Jordanian people compared to the position of Queen Noor, as mentioned by Rifai. However, during her time with her husband King Hussein before his death, she played the role of the First Lady as in most countries worldwide and did not have a political role with significant dimensions. Her activities were limited to social work. After the death of King Hussein, she continued to hold the title of Queen as a grant from King Abdullah II, who also bestowed the title upon his wife. Queen Rania. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.